Hey, what's up, guys? Anil here for Tech Lake, and in this video, we'll compare the camera between the Huawei Mate 20 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. As usual, we'll be comparing the photos and videos from the front camera and the rear camera as well, and we'll be checking the sound as well. So right now, I'm walking. So check out the stabilization here. So right now, I'm capturing the video from the rear camera, and we are on 1080p. It's not 60 FPS though. So check out the dynamic range and the stabilization as well. Right now I'm walking and now I'll be running. And now we have switched to 4K. We are on USD on both the devices. So check out the dynamic range and the stabilization. I'm walking right now. And I'll be running now. <laughs> so that was for the videos and now before we move on to the images, let's take a look at what we are working with here. So we have three cameras on the Mate 20 Pro, a 40 megapixel main sensor with f1.8 aperture, 20 megapixel ultra wide sensor with f2.2 aperture and a 8 megapixel telephoto lens with f2.4 aperture with 5x of dual zoom. And as for the front camera, we get an 8 megapixel camera with f1.7 aperture on the Mate 20 Pro. On the S9 Plus, we have a dual camera setup, a 12 megapixel main sensor with a variable aperture of f1.5 and f2.4 and then a secondary 12 megapixel telephoto lens with f2.4 aperture and 2x optical zoom. As for the front camera, we get an 8 megapixel camera with f1.7 aperture. Now before we move on, since the S10 Plus and the Note 9 use same camera sensor, we'll refer to both of them as the Note 9 as we move ahead. Now starting off with this all-in-one picture of the Stupa and Chabel, you can clearly see the difference in color between these two pictures. The Mate 20 Pro has sharper image than the Note 9 and you can see that the houses in the background have much more detailed on the Mate 20 Pro. It looks slightly washed off on the Note 9, however, around this area we can see that the Note 9 retains more details in the shadows than the Mate 20 Pro. Now both of these phones do well with this picture but I do prefer that sharper and detailed image of the Mate 20 Pro and also when you look at both the images for the first time, the one shot with the Mate 20 Pro just looks more appealing than the one shot with the Note 9. Now both of these phones have 2 times optical zoom but the Mate 20 Pro has 5 times optical zoom as well. And in this picture, you can clearly see the zoom on the Mate 20 Pro that is far better than the zoom on the Note 9. The images are sharper and have more details than the images sought with the Note 9. Now moving on to more outdoor shots, we can see similar pattern here. The Note 9 has warmer tones whereas the Mate 20 Pro has cooler tones. The overall images look more detailed on the Mate 20 Pro and also it's sharper than the Note 9. But as before, the details on the shadows are well retained by the Note 9 than the Mate 20 Pro. But on overall, I do prefer the Mate 20 Pro here. Similarly, when you zoom in, the images look better on the Mate 20 Pro. Note 9 loses out quite a lot of details when zoomed in. But the Mate 20 Pro with its 5 times optical zoom retains all those details. Now checking out how well these phones handle the sunlight, the sun is right above the building here in the picture. And you can see some lens flare in both of the images. But on overall, the Mate 20 Pro does a much better job here. The details of the buildings are preserved, whereas the Note 9 loses out on those details. You can also notice similar pattern on the bottom half of these images. The grass and walls have better details on the Mate 20 Pro than the Note 9. So clearly the image sought with the Mate 20 Pro is better than the one sought with the Note 9 here. Similar story here again, the dynamic range is much better with the Mate 20 Pro. The details on the Mate 20 Pro is also better. Also the Mate 20 Pro takes sharper images and has much better color profile. The image sought by the Note 9 is good as well but I prefer the Mate 20 Pro here. Also, when we zoom in, the images sought on the Mate 20 Pro look better than the images sought with the Note 9. Now, moving on to some night images, as you can see here, the one sought with the Mate 20 Pro looks sharper and looks instantly better. There's more detail on the images sought with the Mate 20 Pro. The text thus name looks much more pronounced and sharper on the Mate 20 Pro, whereas it looks slightly faded on the Note 9. And this is without the night mode on the Mate 20 Pro. With the night mode on the Mate 20 Pro, you can see that there's much more details and the dynamic range improves as well. Also, you can clearly notice the noise reduction in this part of the picture, thus I do prefer the Mate 20 Pro here and is marginally better than the Note 9. Now taking things indoor, the object in focus here is the lantern. And clearly Mate 20 Pro takes more sharper image and the object has more detail. But it loses out on details on the background, whereas the Note 9 maintains details on the background as well and has much more bright image. 
But as you can notice, the brighter parts of Image on the Note 9 have much more noise compared to the Mate 20 Pros. So this one's very tricky. I do prefer that overall brighter picture on the Note 9, but I do prefer that details on the Mate 20 Pro as well. So I have to go with a tie here. Another night nice scene and in this picture, the Note 9 is nowhere near the Mate 20 Pro. This was shot pretty late at night and as you can clearly see, the image on the Note 9 is blur, lacks detail and it's not comparable with the image shot by the Mate 20 Pro. Now moving on to this image of a burger, it's a night shot as well, but it's shot under artificial lights. Clearly the Mate 20 Pro does better here. It has plenty details, it's sharp as well and the color looks amazing as well. Whereas the image shot with the Note 9 clearly lacks details and looks slightly flat. On overall, the burger looks more appealing on the Mate 20 Pro and of course, I do prefer the one sort with the Mate 20 Pro. Now let's see what these phones can do in a clearly dark environment. So in this picture here, the only light source is my laptop. There are no lights turned on and as you can see, the image from the Note 9 had lots of noise and is kind of bad. And the Mate 20 Pro does well and I guess I don't need to tell you, but yeah, I obviously prefer the Mate 20 Pro here. Now onto the portrait images, this picture here instantly looks better on the Mate 20 Pro. Both of the phones have done good job with edge detection, the Note 9 has brighter images, whereas the Mate 20 Pro has dark images. However, you get good amount of detail with the Mate 20 Pro, the face looks more detailed and sharp on the Mate 20 Pro as well. Also, the background looks much more better on the Mate 20 Pro. However, the Note 9 is more color accurate, but on overall, I prefer the image that the Mate 20 Pro has managed to capture. Now onto more portrait images, this time it's a picture of my dog here. Both of the phones have done incredibly well. It's almost similar, but the image with the Mate 20 Pro is a tad bit sharper and has much more punchy colors than the Note 9. But if you look at this particular area, the nose has more details on the Note 9 than the Mate 20 Pro. Both of these are good, so I cannot really decide which one I prefer here. Now onto some selfies, starting off with this picture, it looks very similar on both the devices, but if you get in a little close, there's a slight skin smoothing going on with the Note 9 and it's much more aggressive than the Mate 20 Pro. Now onto some more portrait mode, you can see here the Note 9 has blurred my hair on top. Also, both of the phones have blurred this part of my jacket as well. Now onto this final image, the sun is right behind me. The highlights have not been handled that well by the Note 9, but the edge detection is quite good. The Mate 20 Pro has done a nice job of handling those highlights, but it has blurred out some parts of my jackets over here and over there as well. So on overall, the images from the Mate 20 Pro are better than the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 but they are overwhelmingly better during night times. And also the Mate 20 Pro gives you varieties of options with those triple lenses. As for the videos, the front camera videos, I prefer the Mate 20 Pro's detailed look than the Note 9's. And for the rear camera videos, I prefer the Mate 20 Pro's more smooth and much more stabilized video than the Note 9. So this was our camera comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. As always, if you liked it, do like it and also subscribe to our channel for further contents like this. And also hit that bell icon to get notifications. Until next time, Namaste.